Hello everyone and welcome back to Time Worn Tower. So in the last episode we kind of got ourselves stranded and I really don't know where we are, but we can head back to the dimensional door and hopefully find another way out, or we can explore this structure over here and more of the surrounding area because this is an interesting looking area to say the least. So uh, yeah, there's no recap or anything because, well, I haven't been able to get back to the base, I'm stuck out here. So uh... I mean, I'm sure I can find my way back. That's why I brought the atlas, so I know which... Ooh, a fire skeleton. But yeah, I know which way to go because the atlas shows me it's way up here. But unfortunately, it doesn't show me how far away I am. And I'm afraid if I click around trying to find that out, I might actually delete the marker. Which would not be good. I think I might know how, though. So first, let's uh, check over here. And we also could find, like, new interesting blocks to bring home. New types of wood or sapling if I was interested in that. Uh, willow. So yeah, there's some interesting trees around here. So if I remember right, this is a village thing. I forget if Time Traveler made this or this was natural. I remember she was testing something like this uh, on the server when I was playing the mod back there. But apparently there's witches. Well, this is a good chance to test out that new bow I made last episode, the double compound bow. I really hope this just like one shots the witch. Okay, so it dealt, uh... 14 damage. Huh, still alive. There we go. I think maybe an arrow missed one of those times. So, how do we get up there? Well, I guess we're just going to build a way up. Uh, oh, I put the dirt away in here, didn't I? Whoops, that was a mistake. So, that's the loot we have so far from this adventure. Really hoping we can get some uh, cool stuff, though. I mean, I think that's the goal of, like, every adventure, isn't it? Cool stuff. Um... Guess I'll have to go like this. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, that's a weather witch. I didn't know these guys were here. I actually don't know how they spawn here, even. Huh, we're getting some interesting potions, though. Uh... Absorption? Do we even have a brewing stand? I don't know, but I'm taking this one. Uh, or I would if I had inventory space. So, at least we're getting potions. Oh, that's cool. Some of those could actually help out later. Don't- never know, anyway. And, I yeah, just have it in mind of taking chests with me, just mainly so I know I'd loot the chest. Because if you don't take the chest, then how do you know if you had it already or not? I don't know what that- oh, a swarp skill. Oh, maybe that's why I couldn't use the beam skill before. I didn't have a level in it. Uh, I did talk to Akatori about sword skills briefly, and, um, well, she really didn't help too much, but he did say how to look into it, and I just never looked into it, I guess. So I guess he did help, I just haven't really followed up on it. More potions! Even more potions! Well, no idea if any of these are useful or not, and I kind of am regretting not bringing that other backpack now. <laughs> Oh, I just realized, uh, there is a little exploit I can do with backpacks. You can't put a backpack in a backpack, but you can put backpacks in an ender pouch. I might need to do that. I also would like to get more big backpacks, because big backpacks are nice. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to start using the ender pouch for the moment, because, uh, I can't fit any more loot in the backpack. At least this has- holds a lot of items. So, I'm not sure if any more spawn, if there's spawners or not. I'm not seeing spawners, and kind of don't want to spend a whole bunch of time here. Just because, uh, I'm not seeing a lot here, and I really am concerned about getting home. There was something in the dimensional door, though, that gives me hope there might be other ways out. Now, if those other places are even good, I uh, have to wait and see. There is also that trader over there, though, and I did have a marker, so... The only thing I don't like about the atlas for markers is it's hard to find the other markers unless you're in the area. Like, I can't just go back to the base and then select the marker here. So, okay. But this place is still destroyed from the explosion. And I'm not sure this block over here is from the explosion or possibly a secret exit. Nope, that was just from the explosion. Well, I have no idea how to get out of here. Huh. I thought it was a place block, like, in the distance. Hmm. Oh, there it is. If I break this, does it give me the door? It does. Good. Okay, so you see that? That should be the rift we need to reopen to get out of here. 
And that's the rift we just made by placing them in the wrong spot. So, that's a problem. Uh-oh. So, um, remember I, uh, titled an episode a while back, Unstable Rifts? That's what these are. Eh. Nope. Same spot. Just slightly higher. Well, because I can, uh, I don't have the stuff I need to, like, attune the rift, I don't think I can get out of here. Or at least I can't go back the way we came because the portal was destroyed in that explosion. Which is unfortunate. So, I think we just made another portal slightly higher than the old portal. And the old portal, if I open that, where does this go now? Yeah, this place is all sorts of uh, messed up now. Hmm. I just don't know how I get back. Or which the easiest way to get back is, because... I'm not even sure if I could, like, easily kill myself here. And if that would be any better, because Limbo just sends me to a random spot, so I guess I'm better with the random spot I know than the one I don't. Hmm. Well, I guess we just head up this way and see if we can find anything along the way. Well, this will be an adventure. I think I'm just going to head this way and then cut if I find anything, rather than just show everything and hope it's interesting. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the interesting stuff is good and not bad. Well, I'm not sure this is good or bad yet, but I found a village, a structure, and some Farlander guys. I think these guys just trade. I'm not sure, though, so, uh... Hello, Wanderer. Yeah, just trade for the f Endury thing. What's it called? Endium. Well, I don't have any Endium, and I don't really need stone tools, so let's see what's over here. That seems like I was kind of weirdly spawned, but... Oh, well. And let's see, we have, uh, Settled Villagers. This guy doesn't trade. Yeah, they have gold coins. I think that's the trading currency instead of emeralds. Well, I probably could trade some carrots for gold coins if I needed it. Wow, one guy buys carrots for gold coins. The other ones all charge gold coins for carrots. See, they have a thriving economy here. Uh, redstone for four gold coins. That actually sounds like a pretty good trade. I think gold coins are just nuggets, by the way. Um, well, diamonds. I won't say no to diamonds. Yet, anyway. So, I don't really know what to do, and it's also lacking because I'm loading new chunks, because... Well, remember uh, earlier I tried to fix the lag by loading a bunch of chunks? Apparently I didn't load far enough, because this is still out of what I loaded. Hello, librarian. With your very expensive clock. Huh. Yeah, this village looks a bit different than normal. I think it's... Might be customized in... Well, I know it's customized in some ways. I'm just not sure if Time Traveler did it or one of the mods did it. Because I'm not familiar with these mods. Um... Yeah, nothing that extraordinary here. It's like I'm just going to head up to that uh, ruined castle tower fort thing. Yep, that's what we're calling it. Uh, yeah, some of these structures do just spawn really weird. Well, unfortunately, that's just kind of Minecraft. I wish the world generation was a bit better at times, but oh well. Okay. Okay, so there's a banner falling off, and uh... Huh. Oh yeah, this really picked an interesting place to spawn, like in the middle of a cavernous area. Just not sure the best way to go about it. Uh, I see creepers inside. Hmm. Oh. I uh, wish I wasn't lagging, but oh, there's the entrance. Well. I guess we're doing a giant castle dungeon thing. Didn't plan to do it this episode, or actually was saving the uh, other castle dungeon thing we found for a later episode. Now that we had better gear, it was a bit more possible, but... Spectres. Okay, so apparently there's ghosts and spawners. Eh, not really that great of a loop. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna have to break the spawners. Because I don't have diamond dollies with me, and oh, that's how we get up a level. 
Okay, this one looks a little more ghostly than the other one. You know, it might not hurt to grab this crafting table, because, uh, never mind. I can always make one of the wood I have, but I was going to say because, uh, I don't have one. And, oh, I also just realized things can drop from the higher floors, too. Oh. Ow. Well, that was noisy. Why is this spider exploding? Okay, um... I feel like that was either an infernal mob or a special mob, one of Father's Toast. Um, yeah, uh, this was the series where I encountered the weird blazes, right? I think so. Uh, Akatori mentioned that that was a uh, Father Toast special mob blaze variants, I think. So, same thing could be going on here. Oh, this place is pretty big. Really hope there's something worthwhile at the top, though. Is it like, congratulations, you made it up here. That's it. <laughs> All the emeralds fell. Well, uh, I really want those emeralds. <laughs> What's that? Ah, daffodil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into wood, jump down, and pull her back up with the emeralds. Okay, now we can actually get the crafting table, I hope. And I keep throwing stuff in here by mistake. Man, I'm gonna run out of inventory space before we get uh, back to the base for sure. Gonna also probably have to drop some of this stuff just because I can't hold it all. I do like how the better dungeon mobs actually can drink potions and stuff. I mean, it's annoying, but it's also cool because they actually... Okay, well, I don't know what those uh, sounds are. I assume it's a mob, obviously, but... Ow. Was it witches? Let's hope it was witches. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Yep. Okay. Sorry I don't have a lot of commentary. I'm trying to focus on getting through this dungeon, not dying. You know, normal stuff. Okay, I think I saw a little spawner of some sort up there. There we go. Which spawner down? Oh, we got some cool gems. Hmm. Just not sure if I'm being attacked or not because I'm being hit by poison. Uh, well, it isn't doing much damage to me, thankfully. Instant health potion. Might want to keep that on me. Okay, but we got some cool gems at least. So, other instant health. Uh, at least we got some loot now. Oh, and a witch trophy too. Cool. I feel like that doesn't do good things when you click it though. Just a feeling. I feel like this area also doesn't serve much of a point at the moment. Oh, maybe I was exploding because I picked up gunpowder. I didn't consider that. See, I did comment, or I think I commented that uh, I had to watch out for that, because now that I have uh, the unstable enchantment, it creates an explosion. It doesn't hurt me, but it still explodes. So. Oops. Yep. So, I forgot how much, uh... Oh! Well, we found our first food chest. Remember, those were... A decently common thing from uh, these structures with random food, so it helps you keep exploring anyway. Because, you know, when you're out exploring, you can run out of the food you bring with you. Okay. Oh. 
That's a healer one. Ah. Oh, there's the Lord, like the boss of the structure. There we go, we got rid of the healer. A badge. I guess that's what we get for beating the boss. Kind of like a trophy of sorts. So, we defeat the Spectre Lord, who kind of jumped down from the top before I was supposed to fight him, or... Well, I guess I kind of intended you can fall down, but... Supposed to come out here and then. So this was like a battle tower. It did remind me of that. Like those ruined battle towers, especially. Yeah, I think it might be my chest plate, because I'm not sure if I'm taking damage from that. But yeah, remind me of those ruined battle towers. So let's see what our final loot is. Scarab gem. Okay, uh, I know about those and oh wow, that's a lot of gold. I just realized how much that was in resources. So a scarab gem is needed for the fossil mobs to control the dinosaur. I think it also makes a time. Oh, that's also how to make the time machine, these weapons. Well, I don't know how to do a lot of that stuff, but um, it looks like that's going to be useful to say the least. So, we did clear this structure. Uh, anything here? Nope. Just decorative, it looks like. Okay. But we did clear the structure, we got some loot, and, uh, that banner keeps falling off, because I think it's an entity. Uh, this is a good opportunity for something else, though. So, uh, oh, another structure over there? Whee! Hang glider! I'm so glad I made this before we went on this adventure. I realized it wouldn't help in dimensional doors. But it's really helpful for this. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm lagging because I'm doing world gen. I feel like this guy's just going to have a few trades like the other one. Uh, there we go. And we'll take the door this time. So, yeah. Hello. What do you trade? I feel like all these guys trade the same thing, too. So, we really need to get, um our infernal coins and find one of these guys. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, sleep out the night and then, um... I'll mark off this guy, and then I'm going to keep exploring until I find something else. Well, that bar suggests there's something generating. Hopefully not on top of me. I forget what mod, or I'm not sure what mod that's from, not really forget. I feel like it's from Better Dungeons, so I'm not sure if it's something visible on the surface, something underground. Well, uh, if I find it, well, I'll be sure to mention. Oh, there's an artifact tower over there. Uh, an artifact could be useful. So, uh, yeah, let me head over there. And then I'll cut when I'm there. Okay. Um, scratch that about cutting, I guess. We have a dimensional door. And, oh, I think I found the structure. Well. There's certainly a ton of stuff to explore in this mod pack. It makes it hard to get back home. So, let's get the artifact tower. And I'm not sure if I want to explore this dungeon, though, because I'm out of room. I'm just not... Well, the thing is, I don't think that dimensional door will link back to the previous one. I mean, it's possible, I think? I'm not sure. I suppose it could, but I don't think it will. Well, uh, I already outsmarted this one. So, we got some uh, string... We get some bookshelves, and I'm already running out of inventory space. Uh, I really need to find my way back home before I can do more exploring. I just don't know how to get there. That's the problem with dimensional doors. You can just have that happen a lot. But, let's see. There's the bridge. Ow. Oh! Heals the player when inflicting damage, converts to emeralds when dropped, allows sneaking on air when held. That's a pretty cool one. Actually. <laughs> Using this to steal the rest of the treasure. Oh, a passive health boost. That's cool. So now I should have an extra few hearts. I also really do need to make uh, Tinker's heart containers if I can. Or those would be useful. So is it passive when held? Or just passive? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But, uh, yeah, those are some pretty cool artifacts. Uh, I forget which way we came from already. Is it this way? I don't know. I better pull out my atlas to look. 
Uh, yes, this way. But yeah, it's not showing the hearts, but sometimes the hearts don't show properly, so it could be giving me extra hearts. We'll have to wait and see. Or it could only be when, uh, yeah, I don't think it will work on the baubles. But oh, it does! I never saw one of the belts actually work like that before, or a lot of the... I know there were baubles support on artifacts, I just never remember seeing a belt. Well, there's a bunch of support creepers over there around a minotaur. Uh-oh, infernal mob. Support creepers everywhere. Well. Yeah. Or magnet. Huh. Is that a twilight forest thing? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Wait, this is Project Zulu, isn't it? Yeah, this is Project Zulu. I remember seeing this before. Because I remember uh, when I was playing uh, in a mod pack way back, this is where... Uh oh, efficient zombie, that's what it was. Uh, this is where uh, we'd find portal guns, because there, there's like chests hitting in these walls. See? Okay, so this is a Project Zulu structure. Um, I'm not sure how much loot I can even take. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of chests. This is also where mimics are found. Uh, tape measure, art oh, artifact iron. Uh, there we go. Speed boost when equipped. That's a mimic. Huh. It's kind of sad when I can easily destroy all these guys. Uh, this turns into glowing goo. Glowing goo, I have no idea what it does, so... Ah! <sighs> we'll take that ectoplasm, though. Oh, that's a minotaur. Hmm. Well, I think I might just, uh... I'm just gonna head uh, out of here now. I think I got all the good stuff. Or give me a second. I'm going to look around. Dusty record. I think that just gives you a random record. Uh, a minute heart. Or that could be or come in handy. Okay. Well, that's a cool dungeon, but I really don't want to. Oh. Ow. Ow. I have no idea how to fight you. Yeah. This takes so much time to wind up. Well, that was another one of Mosby's mobs, or however you say that. Uh, I think he can use that to grow more. I really wish I had, like, an ender chest extracting stuff back in my base, but I'm not even sure there are chunk loaders in this mod pack. Oh, well. Enter the dimensional door. Mm-hmm. This is not ominous at all. I want to see where this one leads, though, because... Probably just going to be a few steps away from the previous one. Yep, not very far away. Because I think they do kind of take into account space from the other doors or... I don't know, space is an issue, but once you get into sub-dimensions, it kind of gets distorted a bit. Well, I mean, anywhere is better than where we came from. And we're back in the same sort of room as where we originally entered. Well, isn't that unfortunate? That's a trap. <laughs> I know there's a diamond block there, but lava would flood the whole thing and it'd just be a pain to get out. Like, I think lava comes from the top, so no matter where you dig out, there's gonna be lava. Unless you kind of prepare in advance, I guess, and... Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it is possible for this to lead back to other dimensional doors, but, I mean, I suppose... Well, I just don't know for sure. So, let's see. Does this lead out somewhere I know? Well, that's unfortunate. So, this dimensional door led out below... My previous dimensional door, so I actually got further away from my base. <laughs> huh. Well, can't blame me for trying. Huh. 
Okay, so there's monoliths all around, then a door down there. Uh, just another door. How deep in this can we go? Okay, this is another ruined room. There's monoliths around, so I think I'm just gonna head through this door. Oh. Oh, wow, that worried me for a second, the way it loaded. Did I just get kicked back out the door? I feel like it just kicked me out of that door. Yeah, I feel like it's sending me backwards. Well, there were other ways to... Oh, blah, 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 blah. I remember there was that room of doors at the very start, so let's see if I can get back. Oh, God. Was it this way? I feel like it was this way. Okay, we'll just take this door now. Is this a spiral staircase down? Yep. I really hope this is uh, an iron door and not a wood one, though. Huh. Well, these dimensional doors are ever confusing. Oh, one of each. So where does this take me? I'm just hoping I can find a door to get closer to the base and not just further, because I really don't have to walk all the way back. Although, judging by its downloading terrain, I'm probably going to have to... Uh-oh. Well, first, um... Sleep. Second, I feel like it couldn't spawn a door to return me back to the dimensional door, so I might be stranded again. So, uh... Oh, lagged. There. We're better. Wait, that's a good sign. Tower? Settled? <gasps> okay, we're not actually far from the base now. This is places that... Remember that tower? I'm not sure what tower that was. Was that the... I don't know. But I think Settled Village was closer to uh, spawn. And a base is right down there. So we... I think we made it back. Or close enough anyway. And... I feel like it tried to spawn the door here, but it couldn't. Um... Yeah, am I heading the right way? I am. I am indeed. Well, um... Huh. Oh, another one of these places with, uh... Yeah, I don't want to deal with these witches. <laughs> they don't drop much and I already have my bags full of potions. So, uh... Huh, I think I might end off this episode here. Hey, a slime island. But I think I am close to the base now, or close enough that I should be able to just run back instead of having to hope I get lucky with dimensional doors, and there's still a lot of dimensional doors to explore in the previous dimensional doors near the base too, so there's still plenty to do there in future episodes, but I feel two episodes uh, wandering around dimensional doors and trying to find my way back home is enough for now anyway. Maybe I'll do another two in the future, who knows, but I also would like to explore the uh, castle by spawn, and like as I said before, I do like to kind of uh, keep these mod adventures around 10 episodes, but I don't have to. In fact, I'm actually considering maybe just getting rid of Mod Adventures and just having separate series. The reason I originally did it as Mod Adventures was, well, one, that's kind of how Demo Dash did it, and I was kind of taking lead from that. And two, just to save playlist space, so I didn't have a whole bunch of playlists with only 10 episodes, but I'm kind of over that now and feel like the Mod Adventure branding might be hurting the series more than helping. I don't know. That's probably a bit too deep and rambly for uh, ending off an episode, but yeah, we are back in places I've been before. So that is a good sign. I should be able to walk back home. So I think I'm going to end off this episode here. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, I'll be back at the base, hopefully with some new stuff to do. Maybe I'll finally get around to those dinosaurs and chocobos. Although those chocobos just do not want to grow up. Anyway, so uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>